Hanak, Enoch, 65. In those days, Noah saw that the earth became inclined and that destruction approached. Then he lifted up his feet and went to the ends of the earth to the dwelling of his great-grandfather, Hanak. And Noah cried with a bitter voice, Hear me, hear me, hear me, three times. And he said, Tell me, what is transacting upon the earth? For the earth labors and is violently shaken. Surely I shall perish with it. After this, there was a great perturbation on earth, and a voice was heard from heaven. I fell down on my face when my great-grandfather Hanak came and stood by me. He said to me, Why have you cried out to me with a bitter cry and lamentation? A commandment has gone forth from Yahuwah against those who dwell on the earth, that they may be destroyed. For they know every secret of the angels, every oppressive and secret power of the devils, and every power of those who commit sorcery, as well as those who make molten in the whole earth. How is silver produced from the dust of the earth? And how on the earth does the drop exist? For lead and tin are not produced from earth as the primary fountain of their production. There is an angel standing upon it, and that angel struggles to prevail. Afterwards, my great-grandfather, Hanak, seized me with his hand, raising me up and saying to me, Go, for I have asked Yahuwah Savaot respecting this perturbation of the earth, who replied, On account of their impiety have their innumerable judgments been consummated before me because of the sorceries which they have searched out and learned the earth and those who dwell upon it will be destroyed and that to these there will be no refuge forever they have discovered secrets those who have been judged but not you, my son. Yahuwah Sabaoth knows that you are pure and good from the reproach of secrets. He, the Holy One, will establish your name in the midst of the Kodeshim and will guard you from those who dwell upon the earth. He will establish your seed in righteousness for kings and for great glory. And from your seed shall spring forth righteousness and holy men without number forever.